What's up guys, back with another quick video today. I thought I'd walk you through the process of using Groove Agent 1 in newer versions of Cubase. As you may well be aware, since Cubase version 8, uh, Steinberg updated Groove Agent 1 to Groove Agent SE4 as the default drum sampler. You can actually still use Groove Agent 1, whether you'd want to use it because you have older projects that utilize it, or because you'd actually just want to add those additional kits to a newer version of Cubase. So today I'm going to walk you through the process. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, please do so. Um, there should be a link down in the bottom right corner of the screen there, and I hope this is helpful. So let's jump in. So here we are. I'm in uh, Cubase 10 here. I do have Groove Agent 1 installed, as you can see. Now, the way to go about that would be if you Google Groove Agent 1 installation, you'll find a link to this page of the Steinberg support site with a download link for it here. So if I go into my download folder here, you'll see that I've already extracted it to this folder. It does give you 64-bit and 32-bit installation files, depending on which version of Cubase you're running. So then what you would need to do is move these two files here to this folder here. So if we go to C, Program Files, Steinberg, the version of Cubase that you're using, and VST3. You'll see I've already pasted those in there. Now, unfortunately, there isn't a download link specifically for the libraries for Groove Agent 1. You would have to pull those off of your installation disk for an earlier version of Cubase than Cubase 8, or you can go into the support portion here at Downloads and download Cubase 7.5 you're going to want the full in installation file here, which I do have, and we will go in there now. So you'll, what you'll get is, um, I have it on an external drive here. We go into here. I've got Cubase 7.5. You'll get some ISO files. So if you don't have um, the installation disk, you can download something like Virtual Clone Drive, mount it to virtual clone drive here and then in my computer we can open the folder to view files you're going to want to go into Cubase 7 for Windows additional content and VST sound now the three VST sound files that have all of the Groove Agent 1 content are these three here Groove Agent 1 0 1 through 0 3 you're going to want to copy those three and then paste them into wherever your VST sound content is located. Now, in my case, I've got a separate solid state drive specifically for that. So I'd go into here, and as you can see, I have copied and pasted those in there already. Now, what that will do is within Cubase, Groove Agent 1 will now be able to load its libraries. So we can go in here, and you can see that all of the kits are available. Now, one thing that's been a cause for major annoyance for me, um, and I did actually resolve this problem some time ago, but I lost a hard drive in the process of moving over from Seattle to the UK. So I'm going to have to go through the process again. So that kind of prompted me to want to do this video because it is something I've seen a lot of uh, threads on the Steinberg forums about why when you go, if, even if you've installed Groove Agent 1, you're going to see that there's a area for the Groove Agent 1 kits, either within Groove Agent 4 or 5 or SE4 or SE5. But when you go into it, you're going to see there's nothing there. Now, it did used to show the Allen & Morgan Signature Drums kits in there, but not the actual Groove Agent 1 library. They seem to have updated it in Groove Agent 5 to have the its own area for Allen & Morgan. And the Groove Agent 1 library is, as you can see, completely empty. Now, if you want to make use of those kits and have them available to load within Groove Agent 5 or SE5, this will work for both of them. It is quite a tedious process, but you can make it happen. So what you're going to want to do is load a kit in here. We'll go through them in order. I'm just going to do a few to show you the process, but I'm actually going to have to go through and do them all again if I want them all available, which I'm going to be doing. So we'll, we'll start with the Anna Hop kit. Now, if you do want to label them with categories and styles and stuff, one way to show which which style this one is in is just to search on the name and it'll tell us it's rap hip hop. So I'm going to load that one in and then you can just right click anywhere here, save the preset. 
And this is going to save it to our user library in the Groove Agent 1, Groove Agent 1 VST sound library. So we can call it a drum and perk category. The subcategory, we will call it a drum and perk drum set. And then the substyle, as we now know, is going to be rap hip hop. So we're going to call it by its name and save it. Now you're going to see that within the Groove Agent 1 library, it's there available. If we highlight it and um, re reset this, it will show us the category and everything there. So I'm just going to do a couple more to show you that that actually works and then That'll really be it for this video. After that, I'll be going through and redoing this process. I think there's about 60 odd kits, so it's quite a tedious process. If you want those extra 60 kits loadable within versatile versions of Cubase, because Groove Agent 1 doesn't have a MIDI player portion, it doesn't have built in effects. Uh, so it's, it's definitely beneficial to have those kits available within Groove Agent 4 or Groove Agent 5. So let's move on to another one. I'm going to delete that. For instance, you know, in my case, I really like the old DMB kit. So we'll load that up. And, you know, once again, we'll search on that and it'll tell us the category. It's drum and perk, drum set, drum and bass jungle, obviously. So we're going to load it up. Right click in here, save preset. Going to name it. And then we'll go through and select the category subcategory and substyle save it and then you're going to see that within groove agent 5 it's there so if we refresh this you're going to see another substyles popped up there now and just to just to prove this works with se5 as well we'll open that up do the same thing and you can see in the groove agent 1 library those are now available. Now, one thing to note here is you will have to be either in the user content or the one that shows factory and user content. If you're in the factory library, that's still going to be blank because those ones that we've saved down now are essentially user presets. But just to prove it that it works, I'll double click on there. There's our classic DMB kit from the Groove Agent 1 library. So yeah, I hope that was helpful. This has been a cause for some annoyance for me because I've, you know, I did have some projects for a while there after I updated to uh, Cubase 8 that still utilized this DMB kit and some other kits from Groove Agent 1. So it was really annoying me that it would show me the library content here, but there was nothing in there. So now I'm going to be going through saving down those 60 something kits so that I have them available again. Once again, please do smash the subscribe button if this was helpful and I'll have much more content coming up in the near future. Peace out, guys.